whatever happens. No matter what they tell you. When the chains come off. You go in the first five seconds. Congratulations, man. I seen you get that big walk of fame thing and and I look at you because I, I mean I go way back with your movies That's but right. what I really appreciated about your career is that you produced like over like a billion dollars in box office receipts and that's like big for, for... That's actually crazy when you put it like that. I, I don't often think of it like that, but it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing. <laughs> how, how cool was it there? I know you had your parents there and you had some of your co-stars. How cool was it just being that element and have you being celebrated for your accomplishments? It, it, was, it was so nice. I mean, like I said yesterday, you know, 30 years ago I was on a street corner in Times Square Dancing for a crowd and break dancing, break dancing, <laughs> break dancing for a crowd, and uh, to to be on the corner yesterday um, with my parents, who and uh, my father, who had done so much and, and been so such an integral part of this dream, and my whole family has been supportive, and my kids to see it. It was such a surreal experience and such a wonderful. I feel like I finally got an agent. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm just starting. <laughs> I gotta ask you though, because I mean, everybody knows you for the Fast films and and this Rick and your all the other great projects you do, but you have this production company, One Race, and I feel like it has more than one meaning. I don't thought it's just about cars. Can, can you tell me just a little bit about? It it speaks to multiculturalism in the right way, uh, in a new way, and in a modern way. And it, it speaks to all of us being brothers, yeah. regardless of where you're from. Uh, me being as multicultural as I am. You know, I was thinking about it yesterday while I was getting that star. I, through my life, I've chosen to be at the risk of coming off ambiguous, at the, at the risk of, of embracing an ambiguity that people don't often feel comfortable embracing, um, I might have the only star in Hollywood that is a, a star with somebody that's labeled himself multicultural. Yeah. And to be a multicultural movie star, part of my drive in being a movie star was to be a multicultural movie star. I wasn't going to be able to get the roles that my father was getting, you know, in his career. And I chose to make a conscious statement about that in my work. And the idea that Hollywood was acknowledging a multicultural icon or a multicultural movie star felt like a first and in many ways was my objective when I was imagining the impossible as a kid you know how could I be uh, you know this speaks to multifacial as you've seen yeah the change state on me Stay tuned for part two as we talk to Vin Diesel about possibly joining Tyrese and his R&B group TGT, only on Black Tree TV.